Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today is the final episode. Today we are finishing it all because we're going to be battling the Time Devourer and we're going to be good at getting the good ending. I said this in the end of last episode, but basically we've kind of ruled out all the endings except the, the two main ones, the good and the bad. The bad is you just defeat the Time Devourer and... Everything sucks, basically, or you can get the good ending and use the Chrono Cross on it. I'm going to be using the good ending because I obviously just don't want the bad ending. Uh, so basically how we use the Chrono Cross is we got to get a certain order of elements and then use the Chrono Cross to defeat the Time Devourer. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I could use, like, big strategy, but you know what? I'm just going to go into this fight and we're going to just try to do it. You guys know what I mean? So real quickly, uh... Uh, I kind of want to save. Okay, let's go ahead and save right here. And let's go ahead and try to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, I guess we saved our memory there. Let's go ahead and I should probably pull up the order real quick. No, maybe we do use the astral. What do we use? Do we use the time egg or the astral amulet? I'm confused here. Maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe it is a time egg. I just screwed up. Let's try this again. Oh, maybe we have to go to the... We have to go to our home world. Okay, well, that makes sense, I guess, right? It makes a little bit of sense. And I'm guessing... Let's just talk to each of these kids real quick. A new species is about to be born on this planet, an alien life form even more evolved than the old Lavos. At the darkness beyond time, the weakened Scala became... Came under the influence of Lavos, and the two became one entity. It is now up to you, the one whom the Frozen Flame has chosen as the Arbiter. You alone can decide how the new Lavos, which has encaged Shala within it, it, will evolve from here. Your actions will determine whether, in the future, all time is devoured by Lavos, sending the world into everlasting death. Balthazar foresaw this world going to happen in this, in this, in his world in the year 2300, and he was determined to prevent it from happening, no matter what it took. So Balthazar is the mastermind behind all this. And the Chrono Cross, it alone can combine the sounds of the planet that the six types of elements produce, the melody and harmony that brim within all life forms, using the Song of Life to heal her empty and suffering. We entreat you, Surge, please save Shala. Where even angels lose their way. Ten years ago, you died at this very spot. There's no mistake you drowned. The truth is, this world in which you are still alive is the irregularity. This is the false reality. Ten years ago, it was Lynx who tried to kill you at this beach. After Prometheus broke the link between fate and the flame, fate tried to eliminate any obstacle that stood in its way. In the meantime, the six dragons had sent Harl forth to try and gain possession of the flame. Harl made contact with the fate's biological incarnate Lynx and tricked him into temporarily joining forces. Eliminate the elimination of the Prometheus circuit lock on the frozen flame was everyone's top priority. Lynx and Haro abducted Luca, who alone could release the Prometheus lock that guarded the flame. But the whole attempt only ended in failure. Then, they just waited for you to appear instead. You see, fate calculated that you would one day cross the dimensions and try to make contact with the flame. I don't know how to break this to you, but Lynx was actually your father, Wazuki. Drawn closer to the flame caused them to become unstable, and the image of you dying in terror changed him completely. Finally, after having his psyche totally eroded, he lost his soul and was easily integrated by fate. Fate turned Wazuki into a biological interface, modeling him after your worst fear at the time, a panther. Although Wazuki managed to escape from the Chronopolis with you, he later completely succumbed to fate. Humans are such fragile, disjointed, imperfect things, love and hate, life and death. Perhaps even fate itself dreamed of using the flame to one day reincarnate itself into a new species. It is quite sad, really. It's like when you gaze into the frozen flame... The flame gazes back at you. So you finally made it, Surge. When you did this, when did this sorry tale all begin? Was it 10 years ago when you were almost drowned here? Or is it 14 years ago when you were wounded by that panther demon that attacked you, resulting in you being carried to Chronopolis, where you came in contact with the fate and the frozen flame? Or perhaps it was 2,400 years in the future, when the time crash hurled Chronopolis back to prehistoric times, or even it could have been 12,000 BC when an ancient magical kingdom met its end after trying to use Lavos. Each is close to being correct, and yet at the same time so far from the right answer. The true beginning was during the, description, this, the destruction of the ancient kingdom of Zeal. As the palace collapsed around her, Princess Shala was sucked into the dimensional vortex along with the Lavos. 
Mamma Machine. Scala and Lavos became unified into e one even more powerful entity that would evolve into the Devourer of Time. Filled with the hatred and sadness of Lavos, half of Shala's mind became set on destroying all of existence. Yet at the same time, the other half of her mind desired to save the universe and to be rescued herself. As Shala fell through the time gate in this condition, she heard your crying echoing through time. That is when her story and yours began to intertwine. It is also when the past and the future began to intersect, and when the world became divided in two. Led by the pity crying, the young surge made as the panther demon poison took hold of him. Princess Shala traveled 10,000 years in time to try and make contact with this dimension. This caused a raging magnetic storm that resulted in Fate's system malfunctioning, which led to Surge, which led Surge to the frozen flame. Yes, yeah, Surge. The sound of your crying touched the heart of Princess Shala before the destructive mindset could become dominant. She cloned herself and sent her copy into this dimension, which was Kid. Shala left her baby daughter clone with her ancient pendant possessing magical powers. This was to safeguard her daughter clone in life and death situations. The pendant would rewind time a little, sending her daughter clone into a saver point into the immediate past, which Kid talked about. That's right. Kid is Shala's daughter clone. Kid, you're wrong. I'm me. I ain't no Shala daughter or clone. Well, you are. Yeah, that's right, Kid. If that's how you feel, I think Princess Shala would have wanted it to be that way, too. And now about Project Kid, the time control project Balthazar planned out. The whole project existed to lead you to this one. A special point in time, the founding of Chronopolis, the time crash, and the battle between Fate and the Dragon Gods. It was all coordinated so that you would end so you would get your hands on the Chrono Cross and come to this place. Of course, Kid was not to know anything about this whole plan until later, when all this will finish. Further in the future, Kid is meant to travel back 10 years in time from now to save Surge from drowning. Then Kid was also meant to call Surge into the other world as he spoke with Lena here on Opasa Beach. You're our last hope, our final chance. Only you who came in contact with Shala and Kid, Shala's clone, daughter, can do it. In the darkness that exists on the other side of time, Shala has been integrated with the Devourer of Time. Please, Surge, release Princess Shala from the binds of that monster and her own hatred. Show us that life forms that exist on this planet what our new future will be. Alright. So, let's go ahead and do this. Time egg. Right? To no beginning and no end. To the darkness of time. The final gate which leads to the darkness of time. Looks like this is finally it. Come on. So here... No one can stop my raging fists of joy and sorrow. Come on, Serge. Me, mate, you don't want to keep the girl waiting any longer. She's been waiting for you, and only you, and for over 10,000 years, I might add. If the world's going to be destroyed, then let it be destroyed. If history is going to be changed, then let it be changed. I'll show you what radical dreamers really dream about. Final, got final boss, guys. And this is barely even a boss. We're basically gonna try to save Shala. So the point of this fight is not to defeat the Time Devourer, but to save that little girl inside of it. By saving that little little girl, Lavos, which is the red thing, will be destroyed. Let's just get a few shots in. There we go, up to full. No, almost full. Omega green, that is fine. So basically, what the Time Devourer does... So obviously, we need to get a certain order of elements. What it's going to do is use the opposite element that you're trying to use at the time. So it's a little bit annoying that it does that, but that's kind of just what it does. But I need it to stop hurting, so I could just like... You know, continue without dying. That'd be great. Okay. Uh, we're going to do... We're going to heal with Orla real quick. Um, let's just heal all. I'm going to need everybody up to full, basically. Okay, so we'll do that. And then try to get everybody up. Okay, Omega Green... Man, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to get like everybody 
at seven with full abilities. Let's just defend. 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 Okay, there we go. Wait, don't kill Kid. I swear, if Kid dies. Out of all people, you have to hit the one that's weak. Why? That's so that's so tilting. Why do you gotta hit the one that's weak? You could have hit any of the other ones. Okay, uh, let's retry that again, I guess. Let's go ahead and use a heal all. Let's go ahead and use a heal all. Man, I don't know how I'm gonna do this fight, honestly, but well, through experimentation, I guess. Let's go ahead and defend. 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 We're just gonna keep defending until he uses something. Okay. Now, hopefully this won't kill anybody. It really, really shouldn't kill anybody. Okay, let's go ahead and start the chain now. So we need yellow. Uh, yeah, let's use yellow. So yellow is first. And then it's red. Then it's red. Bam, bam, bam. And then it is green. Let's use Bushwhacker. Green. Okay, we're halfway there. And then we need blue. Blue. Let's use Cure on somebody. I probably should have put it on Orla, but oh well. So we need blue. And then black and white. Now, I don't know how we're going to get these next things. I'm pretty sure it's going to attack. We need black and then white. Okay, so she doesn't have that. Oh my god, we don't have any of them with black. What? Okay, um... Oh wait, she does have black. What, what am I going on about? She does have black. Okay. Now, we just need the Time Devourer to not attack. We need her to not attack. Please don't. Uh... She didn't attack. Now I just need to use white. Is this gonna work? This might work. I don't know though. Surge needs to. <gasps> I think we did it. I think we did it. Chrono Cross. I think we did it, guys. I think we did it. That's it. That is it, guys. We finished the game.
I have been waiting an eternity just for this very moment. Meaninglessly hurting one another to disappearing life forms. The words that become deleted, the thoughts that become buried, the pools of cells that slowly evaporate, the echoes of consciousness that slowly fade. Love to hate, hate to love. Why are we born? Why do we die? Evolution. The survival of the fittest. What is there to be achieved from harming one another, killing one another? The eggs that we call planets and the innumerable spermatozoa which gather around them as that we call life forms. When one of these countless seeds inseminates a planet, a new universe is born. But until that occurs, hundreds of millions of years will pass and innumerable life forms will be born, then die. That is the be all and end all. Everything exists for that one moment, all, all so that the universe can evolve into the next dimension. Does that make us all just pawns? Are each of our short lives nothing but a cheap sacrifice just so that the chosen one, the chosen life form, can be born? No, that is not the case. Each and every one of us has a chance of becoming that one chosen life form which emanates a planet. Yes, it could be you. Genes and environment, each of us- oh, I skipped that one by accident. If one link is missing, there will be no future. There is no such thing as a useless life form, no such thing as a pawn. Every single thing in the whole of nature is perhaps just dreaming of a dream of life. All of them are also perhaps nothing more than a dream dreamt by the planet before it is born. Oh, but yes, eventually all dreams will return to Zervan, to the Sea of Dreams. Surge, don't go yet, Surge. It's alright, everything is alright now. Time which has been divided will be unified once again now. The time for farewells has come. You will lose all memory of this whole adventure and return to your own time. But this time, you'll be able to live your own life. Orla, I guess this is goodbye then, Serge. I'm glad I met you. Even though our worlds are different, I will never forget you. Thank you, Serge. We alone do not have the power to heal the world's woes or to solve all of its mysteries. And yet, even then, it was bloody good knowing you, mate. Thanks for being born, Serge. I guess now's the time to say, see you later, mate. But I'll find you sometime, somewhere. I'm bloody sure of it. No matter the time period, no matter the world you live in, I'll find you. I'm sure. I am sure I'll find you. Surge. Surge. Hey, Surge. And we're back at the beach, guys. Time to start a new game. Yeah. Nah, I'm just kidding. But we are back at the beach. This is all the way back in the beginning of the game when we were trying to collect uh, Komodo Dragon scales. Are you alright? What's the matter? Don't scare me like that. He just passed out all of a sudden. Hmm? What? Terra Tower. Fate. What are you talking about? We just got here. You got some Komodo scales for me, don't you remember? You should. You sound confused. Come on, Serge. Get with the times. Our summer's just started. We're back. At the beginning. We have saved space and time as a whole and uh if you guys did watch um the latest csgo major from this when cloud nine won what skadoodle said i'm not crying you're crying so i think that's kind of the moment here thus the curtain closes on another tale an eternity has passed fleeting dreams fade into the distance all that is left now is me and my memories But I'm sure we'll meet again. Someday you and I, another place, another time. It's just that we might not realize that you are you and I am me. <laughs> Say, 
Me or me. Okay, hold on. Let us open the door to the great unknown, come across another reality, and live another day. Even when the story has been told, life goes on until we meet again. Take care of yourself, my friend, wherever yours. Shala, Kid Zeal. So Kid was a clone of Shala, which was back in the day, long history. Uh, I recommended this many times throughout the series, but guys, I highly recommend go look up the history of Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross. Obviously, they're one in a series. Go look it up. This game's timeline is very confusing, very fascinating, and very long. So, I can't sit here and explain the story to you guys, because I know you guys probably don't understand. The story is way too big. People have multiple videos about this story going into theories because this story isn't all planned out. We have the core story of what happened, but like really deep. There's still a lot of theories going on and I would really recommend looking it up. So I've obviously done a bunch of research and I'm still not even 100% sure myself, but yeah. Um, usually at the end of games, of course, I, I give like my opinion on the game. Uh, but I did say at the beginning of this game, the only reason I'm even playing this game is because this is my favorite game of all time since I was a childhood. Since I was a childhood. Since I was a child. So, of course, I had to play it on my channel eventually. So, what'd you expect? I'm gonna give this game a 10 out of 10, 100%. Best game ever made. But that's only natural because it is my favorite game. So, in this instance, I can't really give my opinion on the game other than... I think the Dragon God could have looked a little bit cooler. That's about it. I, I really think the Dragon God could have looked a bit cooler. That's just me though. But really, I want your opinion on this game because, like I said, this is already my favorite. I don't really need to give my opinion on it. I think the game's perfect, other than the dragon. So I want to hear your guys' opinions. What'd you think about the game, the characters, the story, the plot line? Obviously, this game is a bit old. It's from 1999. That's when it was released in Japan and released in America at 2000. So this game is a bit old, so don't roast on its graphics or gameplay, because, I mean, it's an old game. It's almost, literally, it's 18 years old. It's 2018 when I'm playing it. I don't know when you're watching this, but right now it's 2018. This is actually, this game was made on my, on, when I was born. I was born in 1999. So, basically, this game is as old as I am, which is really, really cool. But yeah, uh, 10 out of 10 gameplay. Once again, I would, I want to explain this game to you guys so badly. But I can't, so look it up yourself. And you might be wondering why I keep repeating myself. Well, I'm trying to get through the credits here. I have to speak long enough to get through the credits. Because, of course, with the greatest game of all time, I do want to give thanks to, obviously, all the people that worked on it. So I'm not going to be disrespectful. I will show all the credits because I think they deserve it. They made a great game. Also, to point out, I would really pay attention to the picture at the bottom left because it does tell a little story. Uh, you'll be able to see a, a girl, real life. I'm pretty sure, actually, a little bit after the credits, there's going to be a video be, that, that's going to play. But there's one little cinematic that it'll show that's kind of important. You can see here, right? That's a girl in real life. What that's supposed to represent is Kid. If you remember, in the, one of the voice lines right at the end of that fight, the last fight, Kid said, I will find you no matter what world you're in, no matter what time. That's Kid right there basically looking for us. But uh, once again, I'm repeating myself. There's going to be a clip that shows it. And there's the dragon on screen right there. Come on, man. Y'all could have made a better dragon. Come on. And uh, there's Kid once again looking looking for us. There's the Terra Tower. So yeah. Oh, the opening theme, Corner Cross Scars of Time. Best song soundtrack in a video game ever made. Down pat. I still listen to it very often. It is the go go type that in right now. Go to Google. Corner Cross Scars of Time. Best track ever made in a game. Chrono Trigger comes close. And Zelda Wind Waker comes close. But nothing can beat Chrono Cross in my opinion when it comes to the soundtrack. In my opinion, that's one of the greatest things about this game. In most art, especially JRPGs, because they have that grinding element, which by the way, this game doesn't have. The one thing that gets really annoying is 
the music. After you've grinded for so long, the music is just kind of boring and dull. This game, the music never gets dull, and I really have to give it to them that. And I mean, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but even near the end of the game, I was still singing along with that ending theme. And guys, here's where we need to pay attention. If you can see here, Kid is in the middle of the road. Right here. This, this is kind of, it's not super important, but there's Kid in the road. At least that's supposed to represent Kid with her necklace. And by the way, I got a missed call, so I was looking at my phone. Square. So, Square, that is people who made this game. Kudos to you. Is that it? I will find you, even I even even if I have to search the world over sometime somewhere, I'm sure. There's a lot there's a lot of theories about this scene. It's a little bit weird. I don't know why she's in a wedding dress. Uh I'm digging it though. It's fine. But yeah. Finish. That is the end of the game. Man, this breaks my heart. Why does the game have to be done? I don't want the game to be done. Save game, yeah. So the cool thing about this game is... Save, save over the third one. Once you're done with the game, you can actually start what is called a new game plus. Which is basically you start from the beginning of the game, but with the materials that you ended off with on your other save file, you could keep going and I'm pretty sure the monsters are a little bit stronger and stuff. And you could get all the other items because of course, like I said earlier, some characters you can only get depending on what decisions you make. So like in, in our game that we played, we couldn't get Nikki or uh, Pierre because we took a different timeline. Basically what this does is you can continue on the game, have a little bit more fun, gather up all of the characters and stuff. So it's really, really cool. I'm not going to be playing it because there's no reason to. I don't want to repeat the same game. I don't know. Maybe I'll stream it or something. Who knows if I even stream. Uh, but yeah, guys, there's not really much more to say. Um, I br basically poured my heart out at... Uh, uh, the credits. This game is a 10 out of 10 in my book. Favorite game of all time. I recommend you guys looking up its history. I truly think it deserves it. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. I'm trying to, like, find the right words. I'm just... I'm really, really sad that the game is done now. I mean, basically, it's all downhill from here. This is the greatest game of all time ever made. No other game in the world is going to come close to this. So, basically, any game that I play from now on is downhill. So, maybe... this, it, Maybe the, my channel is just going to go downhill from here on out. But... Either way, guys, I thoroughly enjoyed this game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching me. Once again, give me your opinion in the comments what you thought of the game. I'm going to keep skipping these. I'm really hoping you guys do like it. So, yeah. But that is it, guys. I think this is the last time. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a support the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.